Hi, and welcome to Healthy Living. I'm Dr. Donald Pelto, and today we're going to go over a topic that's called of, of corns and calluses. Uh, everyone has a question about what the difference is between a corn and a callus. Uh, simply stated, usually a corn is either on the top of the toes or between the toes, and a callus tends to be on the bottom of the foot. But they're both the same thing. They're basically a, a thickening of the skin somewhere on your foot that causes problem. Specifically, we want to talk about different types of corns and calluses. This example here over on the edge, it actually looks like a, a second uh, nail on the side. That's called a lister corn, and it can be very, very painful. It tends to be on the fifth toe right here, and, it, and it's really bothersome to a lot of people. So we're going to spend some time talking about that type of a corn. There's another type that's actually seen between. You can see here between the second toe, and this is a very painful corn. Uh, that sometimes can develop into a sore. And then we're going to talk about some corns that can be kind of on the tops of the toes or on the bottom of the foot. There's different places that you can have these types of corns. So let's get into it. One of the common questions that people come in with, do I have a wart or do I have a callus? A callus and a wart look very similar. So for example, this is a callus and this here is a picture of a wart. A wart is caused by a virus and a callus is caused by friction. A wart has an interruption in skin line. So basically when you look at a wart, you're going to see the skin line and the wart and the skin lines are going to go around the wart. Whereas with a callus, the skin lines tend to go through the callus. But there's one instance of a callus where the skin lines don't go through it. It's called a porokeratoma. It's basically the skin lines go around a, a sweat gland that gets clogged and that can get very painful. So you need to determine, is what you have on your foot, is it, is it a wart or, or is it a callus? Many people come in, they've saved, they've been treating their warts for months and months and months and it never gets better. Well, probably the reason it's not getting better is because it's not a wart, it's a callus. And, and vice versa, many people, they, they treat their calluses and they trim them off and they say, well, my callus bleeds and I don't know why it's not getting better. And many times if it's bleeding or if there's this little pinpoint bleeding in it, it's not a callus and it tends to be a wart. So if you can't decide, you should probably go see a professional to learn more. Why do you get your, your callus or corn? Well, first of all, there could be unequal pressure to the foot or the toe. Unequal pressure can be either caused by a tight shoe that rubs in the sides or on the top of your foot. It can also be because of some type of a bony abnormality or deformity you can see on the bottom, such as a hammer toe or like one of those toes, those fifth toes, it could be rotated where it's rubbing on the bottom or like a bunion or, or other types of things. Uh, once again, the friction from rubbing can, is one of the main causes, especially on the tops of the toes. A lot of times females, they come in and they have a little bit of a hammer toe, but they have these ugly calluses that get very large and they get discolored and they don't like them. Many times, if you change your shoe that's a little bit deeper, a little bit wider, those go away on their own, those types of, of, of calluses. You also may have a, a clogged sweat gland, and that's what I talked about is that porokeratoma. So if it looks like a circle and you think it's a wart and, it, and it's very painful, if it feels like you're walking on a pebble, that may be a porokeratoma. And the way that's treated is trimming it down and getting out that central core. I don't recommend doing that on your own because that can be very painful. It should be done by a professional. And then th one of the bigger culprits is, is that if you never have a callus and then all of a sudden you get new shoes and you start to have all these calluses, you need to be careful because many times improper shoes, whether they're too large or too small or not fitting correctly, shoes can cause calluses that are painful. So you have to be careful of what the cause is. If, you've, if you're one that's had calluses your whole life, then you should come in to get them checked out. If they're new, if they've only been there for a few weeks or a few months or if they blister up, you should really evaluate your shoe gear or your activity if you're doing a lot more activity than you were before.